walk through get ready with me if you guys want to watch something like this then you know keep watching <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face with the YSL Touche Eclat blur primer and I'm not gonna put too many edits in here but I am gonna edit a little bit just in case it is a little boring there's some things that I want to talk about some things that are weighing on me and just other things so that if that's what you want to see then yeah I just keep saying it. if that's what you want to see then keep watching then obvi obviously you're watching <laughs> now I'm using this Mac what is this called fast response eye cream because I've been weirdly sick lately the past like three days it's been really or two days I should say it's odd so I have bags under my eyes right now so it's just gonna like reverse that I hope I haven't worn makeup for a few days too so it was normal and then all of a sudden I got sick so I felt great all day and Dalton ate the same things I did all day so I don't think it was something that I ate because it wouldn't have stuck through me like I know what it feels like when you eat something bad and this didn't feel like that I'm using the Mac studio flix studio fix fluid SPF 15 in NW 13 all over my face so yeah, um, in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. I woke up and I was like, oh, I just went pee. Okay, that's, that's what happened. I just went pee. I didn't feel sick at all. And then as soon as I went back in the bed and got comfy, like literally as soon as I got comfy, I was like, what? Like I feel so sick, like just my stomach. I need to throw up or something. So I went and then, yeah, so I just got sick. And I have no idea why. And then I was up at like 5 a.m. And then right in the morning when we woke up too, I got sick. And then a whole day I was just feeling really crappy. I hate throwing up and getting sick. So it just sucks. And I don't know. It's just maybe I just have the stomach flu. Because I haven't had stomach flu for a really long time. So it just could be it, you know. So that's why I use the fast response eye cream. <laughs> I'm just patting this in with a beauty blender. I like this foundation. It's a really good everyday foundation. I like it a lot. Also, the one thing that has been weighing on my mind is Rich Piana. Now, because I am a beauty channel, I don't know what you really consider my channel. I really don't. Like, there's categories and stuff, and I don't know. I can. I don't know if it's beauty. Like, I do beauty. Like, right now, I'm doing beauty, I guess, but I don't just... Anyway, maybe people don't, won't know who I'm talking about, but I think I have a large enough audience that there are people out there that probably would know who I'm talking about he was a bodybuilder he was also a youtuber and I watched him all the time so I have my certain youtubers that I love and watch like when I get ready and stuff like that and that's who I watch but for some reason I've just always loved Rich Piana now he's very I guess I should say was right now it's just really sad for me he was very opinionated. Well, I, lots of people loved him, but I'm just saying like a lot of people didn't agree with him and he did things in his past and you know, like a lot of people do things in their past, but I admired him for being him. He was just somebody who was outspoken, whatever he was gonna say, he was gonna say. And that's why I admired him. I wouldn't watch him for like bodybuilding or anything like that. I think I might do like a second layer foundation. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm sick. I think I'm just going to do this like little half a pump all over my face. So not really a second layer, but a second layer. <laughs> anyway, and he passed away recently. And it just took a toll on me. I was very sad. I was sad for his wife. I, I really don't know how to explain it. It just shook me because it was somebody that I watched a lot it was somebody that gave because my motto pretty much on YouTube is just do what you whatever do what you like who cares what people are gonna think not everyone is gonna like what you do like for instance like my plastic surgery like not everyone's gonna agree obviously with plastic surgery and looking a certain way but you just at the end of the day you have to be yourself and be you and that's what he did and I really really admired him for doing that and being that person and when he passed away, it, I got so sad. And I feel like the YouTube community lost a really good person. Somebody who was very real and raw. Um, I'm using the Born This Way concealer. I just got this um, recently. I haven't tried it. It's brand new coming out of the pack here. I got this when I was doing, picking up the giveaway items. And... 
Yeah, so rest in peace to Rich Piana. Um, I still watch his videos. Like yesterday I was watching like almost all of his videos. Well, it's impossible. He has so many. But I was just like kind of doing a little marathon of his videos and he's just so funny. And like I said, I don't follow him for like eating advice or anything like that. But I just like him for him. Okay. So maybe that's the same thing for other people here. Like maybe you guys don't like beauty or you know, whatever it is, but you just like my personality. It might be the same way. Recently I watched a Nikki Tutorials tutorial and she did her concealer like this. And I would always do mine in a huge V formation. And I'm like, okay, if the queen of makeup, okay, a lot of people are gonna be mad because you know, you have your own queen. But one of the queens of makeup does it like that. I'm gonna do it like that. It looks really good. I went to Sephora and I was getting uh, the giveaway winners, the subculture. At Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and when I was in there I said do you have the Tarte Shape and Tape concealer because that's what I really want to try everyone like raves about it and okay this look looks like it didn't really do much maybe I'll do a second layer and she's like it's only at Ulta in the states because there's no Ulta's in Canada and I'm like what really she's like yeah it's an Ulta exclusive I'm like I could have sworn I've seen people doing it on Sephora hauls but I could be wrong but I really want to try it. So, the good thing is, is I'm going to the States soon. So I, if there's an Ulta near me, because I don't have much time, like I'm not there, I'm doing more of this concealer. Okay, it's a very light coverage concealer. It's two by Too Faced, by the way. I love Too Faced uh, lip products. Okay, I feel like this isn't even doing anything. You can like still see my bags and stuff under there. Oh, well, when I set it, it might be better. It was just a little one of those grab things at the front to try, so I just wanted to try it. I just feel like it's very like sheer coverage, but it'll do for the day. I'm not really doing much. Okay, now I set my face with the Kat Von D brightening powder in Petal. It's just this like kind of pink, whoa, kind of pinky color. I'm gonna just set it. I used to use like a full powder foundation to set, and I would wonder why my face would crease and get all weird and now when I just set it with something like this it's way better see I feel like my mood's kind of off today because of everything I just explained like the sickness rich piano even like talking about it, I get really sad and I was bringing it up to my mom I'm like you probably don't even know who this is because just of the the videos he would make like my mom wouldn't watch those kinds of videos you know speaking of that I will be at style con so if you guys live in Dallas Texas or the surrounding areas I'm gonna be there on the 23rd of September of this year 2017 and I would love to meet you guys I don't know yet if there's like specific meetups really ironic as soon as I was editing this video I got an email from my management and I will be doing a meetup I am confirmed so if you guys want to meet me my meetup will be at 11 30 a.m. at the Bowfresh Media Lounge on September 23rd at StyleCon in Dallas all the other information you guys can head to my Instagram it'll all be there and I'm so excited to meet you all and it's gonna be really fun and I can't wait. And I'm using the Laura Mercier under eye setting powder. That is my favorite. I love this stuff. And it'll give a little bit more brightening effect. Also, I'm revamping my filming room. I do like these backgrounds, which I always will do because I feel like it's me. It's always what I've done on YouTube. And, you know, I don't want to change too much of my style of filming because it's what I pretty much started with. I would have these like really badly placed backgrounds. This is now blurry because I went away from the camera. And I kind of grew and changed into better backgrounds like this that I love. I love these like glittery backgrounds. I'm using just some Carmex on my lips to nourish them because I got foundation all over them. And another thing, I don't know when, what order I'm posting these videos in. This will look a lot better when I put lip stuff on so it's okay I actually should exfoliate my lips and do a lip scrub I can like feel it now I'm going in with the Mac painterly paint pot I'm thinking I'm just doing my eyes first and then my eyebrows at the end I have no idea why I just randomly switched that up this time but I did <laughs> and I can't do anything because now the cat is playing with the painterly paint pot lid. So come see me in Salcon. Um, I'm not 100% confirmed that I know of, but I'm pretty sure I will be on a panel 
So that's nerve wracking. I've never been on a panel. That's going to be scary for me because of public speaking and everything. But I think it is for a good, good reasoning. Now the Kylie birthday collection. Ooh, like this. I'm going to be taking this one here and then maybe a little bit of this one and that and this. <laughs> and I'm just taking it all on a very fluffy brush. I'm doing 1942, just in the crease a little bit. Honestly, I'm just gonna kind of do a very quick eye for no reason other than I'm not really doing much today and I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm better than yesterday and the day before, but you know, I just don't really wanna wear like a whole bunch of makeup even though I'm gonna put on lashes. <laughs> I just feel like I'm gonna do it just like kind of like a basic eye, but I'm gonna make it really glittery. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take that top one, that birthday girl. It's very glittery and shimmery, and I'm gonna put it all over the lid like that. Kind of pack it. It will look good, and the lashes will hide it. So if it looks a little badly blended, oh well. I've been obsessed with this highlight color, not for highlight, but for eyeshadow, and it's called Confetti. I'm taking it on a little brush, and let's just put it on the under eye. Just like make it super shimmery in the under eye. Yes, oh, I'm in love. It's like a pinky, sparkly highlight. Love it. I wish her lip colors for this collection were also pink because that's what the theme was. I don't know. I did. I said all that in my review too, but this palette is like so pinky and beautiful. And then the lip colors, they were like all brown. I was very confused and like bright red and I don't know. They weren't for me, but I will make use out of them. Now I'm doing that birthday girl again. I'm going to focus that in like the inner corner. putting birthday girl over top. Now I mixed confetti and birthday girl and I'm just packing it on the lid to make it even more shimmer bomb. Look at that. It's just shimmery. That's just what I wanted. It's just a shimmery random eye. Sad thing is the summer is almost coming to an end. I am sad and I want to take like a few more pictures and post them on Instagram that are going to be very summery. So they might be in bikinis. I'm sorry. I'm just going through this sad 2017 summer is ending and I want to go out with a bang. Shimmer Bomb. I'm going to take a little bit of 1942 and I'm also going to do a little bit of the Celebrate just to make it a little darker. I feel like I just want a little bit of darker in the crease here. Just to tie the look in. Yes, it looks so good. Just so quick and easy, huh? And then like I said, this one I was gonna use too. It's Buttercream Frosting and I'm just gonna do it to, you can't really see it, but I wanna blend out and make a nice palette up here for when I do my brows. And who knows why I didn't already do my brows. <laughs> Another Kylie one, this is the Wet Set and I'm gonna take Privacy Please, this one right here. And I'm gonna stick that in the inner corner. Also, another YouTuber I want to kind of shout out is Courtney Elizabeth. I'm gonna link her channel. I'm gonna link Rich Piana's channel and Courtney Elizabeth's channel in the description box. Just in case you don't know who they are. Sorry about the camera, I'm not really watching that there. So Courtney Elizabeth, how I found her. So I was just scrolling on YouTube, trying to watch a video while I got ready because I love doing that. Look at how shimmery that makes it. I'm just a glitter bomb today. Love it. Some people don't like shimmer in shadows. So if you don't like that, I am sorry right now because I'm going like overly dramatic. <laughs> Cap on D tattoo liner as I tell the rest of the story, hopefully, because I need to concentrate while I do liner. So I just stumbled upon one of her videos and look at her, I'm already screwing up. Oh well, looks like we're gonna have a thick liner. That's cool. And she was just talking and she was talking, talking. And then all of a sudden she just says this word, very wrong, like very wrong. And I'm like, that's a little odd. Like she was saying all these other words well, and then all of a sudden when she gets to this word, she says it wrong. And then she kind of stumbles and tries to say it again and again and says, you know, I can't say that word, so I'm gonna pass it. And I'm like, what? I'm so confused. I kept watching and then she did it again and then stumbled upon it, but then got the word. I was like, what the heck? This is so weird. And then at the end of the video, I was like, I'm gonna watch another one just cause I felt that was like very intriguing. And then I found out that she had cancer and she had brain surgery. 
So I kind of felt terrible right in that moment, kind of bad, you know? You don't want to judge a book by its cover. And that is the true definition of that situation. You don't want to judge somebody for not speaking correctly. Like somebody that was mean, that was in my position, like that never heard, she didn't mention anything to do with that. And then when she stumbled across these words, somebody could have said like, oh, how come you couldn't pronounce that word or say something very negative and nasty, but not know the situation. So, you know, you should take that as, you know, treat people with respect. You have no idea what people are going through in their lives. And as soon as I heard that she was struggling with cancer and still, and like surgery and recovering from brain surgery, and she was still on YouTube making videos. And when she stumbled, she didn't edit it out. She kept going, and even if she didn't get the word, she kept it in. And if she got the word right, you know, she got it right. And I was like, this girl's so inspiring. She just puts her daily ups and downs, struggles, positives, negatives, everything. Very inspiring in what she's accomplished. So if you guys do want to go check out her channel, I would highly suggest it. Sorry I had to do the rest of the liner off camera because I was like just not talking well because I had to concentrate. I did a little bit of a dramatic liner, I don't know why. I was like, I'm gonna keep this look simple and then all of a sudden this liner happens. <laughs> That's me. So I just curled my lashes. My nose is itchy on the inside, cool. Put on my lashes. These are the Lily Lashes in Miami. I can't say when people say everything they're doing on their look and then don't say what lashes they're wearing. I'm like, I know these are super, crazy dramatic but i love them also i went to see it wow no 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 baby, baby, baby. <laughs> my cat was attacking my background because it's shiny if you watch my eating show i said that i was seeing it or even my snapchat i said i was seeing it and then all of a sudden i didn't say how it was i didn't tweet about it usually i will tweet and be like oh the movie was so good one of the worst movies i've ever seen now, to try to avoid spoiler alerts as I glue this other lash, I was, ah, there's glue. The first 10 minutes of that movie, gold, amazing. The opening scene, oh my God, the best. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is gonna be the best movie. Yeah, it wasn't like that. This clown was so creepy on the opening scene and I'm not afraid of clowns, not at all. Like I'm not afraid of clowns at all, but this was like creepy. He was like talking to the guy. It was one-on-one -on -one, real like creepy, dark, you know, and it was scary. But the movie wasn't even like that. All of a sudden in the whole movie, you saw the clown for like two seconds and he'd be like, and then he'd be gone. Or he'd be like, bah, 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 and then be gone. I'm like, how is that? creepy like let's just take a moment how is that creepy there was another creepy scene and I'm not gonna spoil it but it's when the kid goes into the basement and the basement has a little bit of water in it that way I was like why can't it be like this like it just was very exaggerated there was way too many things going on in the movie there was it played off of the kids fears so what all they were afraid of were coming after them and then there was like headless people with eggs and then there was like the bully became the killer and then there was, like, I don't want to ruin it. But the ending, I'm like, what happened? I just felt like it was the best acted movie, though. Like, the actors, those kids in that movie, hilarious. And when I say hilarious, is I felt it was more of a comedy than a horror movie. Because they were so funny. Them as a group, they were, and usually in a horror movie when there's, like, jokes, I'm like, because they're not funny to me. This, I was like laughing out loud in the theater and the, the whole theater was bursting out laughing as well because it was hilarious what these kids were saying and it wasn't scary at all. Like, and even I was watching the theater, people were watching it like this. When we went to Annabelle, people had their hands over their eyes. They were like this, The Conjuring 2, same thing. People were like, oh my God, like scared. This, the people were just watching, but yet the reviews were like, it was the best movie ever. Like you need to watch it, which, Everyone has their own opinions. If you think it was an amazing movie, that's your opinion. And I'm not gonna be like, no, it isn't. Like some people will be like, it was a really good movie. Like that's, it's my opinion. You can't change somebody's opinion. And I'm glad people on YouTube, there are some people that watch that, that know that. Like, like I don't rule the world. I don't say like, it is a bad movie. So it is a bad movie. I just didn't like the movie. I felt though it was very well productioned. Like the effects, the acting, um, 
everything, the time that went into it was very well done, but it just, the concept of it, I was expecting more because I love Stephen King. I love him. I love his movies. I love all of his movies. I love the original. It. I did not like it. My sister didn't like it. My mom didn't like it. The girl next to me didn't like it. There was people walking out of the theater, multiple people. Um, it just, I think it was very long also, but if you liked it, that's wonderful. I keep opening my phone and saying like, you need to see it. It's, and people were like, I couldn't sleep after. I was crying. I'm like, really? that scares you but I mean maybe it does scare you I don't know but I love a love love horror movies and that one just was that to me I am very excited to see mother though that's a new one coming out and I'm pumped for that these lashes are so dramatic I love them Lily lashes slays me for years I was trying to find lashes that were dramatic like this that that looked real not like real but I don't know like real hair like a lot of lashes look plasticky to me and I can't stand that these ones looked very real I think I was like on the topic of something and I went off of it when I said I don't know what video is going up first but I have a video that I filmed and it's a raw emotion video I do want to post it but I'm kind of scared to post it but I don't know what order my videos will be going in because I do have a sponsor this month I look so naked without brows. Go like this. Like I just all of a sudden got a real big craving for Taco Bell. I'm like obsessed with Taco Bell. We haven't had one in our city. You guys are so lucky growing up with Taco Bell. So the fact that we have one now, I'm like always craving it. I find it so yummy. And in our city, the Taco Bell, as soon as you leave Taco Bell parking lot, Starbucks is like right there. It's, it's just a match made in heaven, I feel. It's kind of all I do for the shape. Like I just create a whole new shape and it works, thank goodness. Like what if I just did chose a new shape? Oh, I thought that was the end of my pencil, I almost cried. But the fact that I've been sick lately, I don't know if I should have Taco Bell, you know? I think I just made this eyebrow super long. Oh no, I didn't, okay good. <laughs> mira, mira on the wall. So now when I have the shape, I just fill it in. I shouldn't have plucked away all my eyebrows. I had such thick, thick, thick eyebrows and then my friend slaked them for me and then I just over plucked them and they kind of never grew the same. Stupid, but whatever you live and you learn and I really like this eyebrow shape that I create now. And I just realized this video is very long. So the raw video that if and when I do post it, still, I don't know, like I wanna post it to kind of help if there's anyone feeling the same as me out there, but I don't want to give the wrong impression and trigger people. So if I do post it, I would like suggestions from that video. Also, when I go to Dallas, Texas, you guys remember the video I did of Versace bag and I was like, Versace hates me. I forget what video that was called. It was like a story time where I was desperately trying to buy this pink Versace bag and I couldn't because of all the reasons I said in the video. Well, and they don't ship to Canada. Like I have the money, I want to buy the purse. It's my first designer bag ever. Well, I guess Michael Kors is I have, and I wanted that one and I can't get it. So when I go to Dallas, there's a Versace store. I'm hoping I can get this bag. So I'm really, really hoping, and I will do a what's in my purse video if and when I do get that purse. I've been waiting and trying to get it. You can get it on eBay, but like, I don't know if they're like 100% authentic. Do you know, like they're like, oh, 100% authentic, but I'm like, just not sure. To drop that kind of money, I would rather it at the store. So I'm hoping they have one in stock. Also grabbing a new vlog camera today, because ours is like failing and dying. Do those brows look okay? Does those brows look okay? Do I know how to talk? Do you want to hear a funny story about a food delivery I had yesterday? So because I was sick, I didn't have anything pretty much in my system because I kept throwing it up and I don't want to make anything and I'm just like so hungry. So I ordered a sandwich, some soup for my sickness because I thought soup would be good. I literally could have made that at home, but I was like, no, nah. like I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it, you know? So I ordered my soup in that and I was like, you know what? I want pop. I don't have a lot of pop. I don't really drink pop like ever. And I want to pop, you know, like I'm sick. So whatever, if I get sick, that's cool. I'm already sick. So I'm just going to get a pop. And it was a one liter, you know, because that's all they had there. 
So I was like, okay, I'll get the one liter pop. And so I got that and it was like $3, three or four dollars. The food came, the guy was really nice. And I ended up giving him extra cause you can, you tip like beforehand on there. And I wanted to give him just a little extra because I don't know, I felt like it. Okay. Like I just was very appreciative for this guy giving me my food when I'm sick. So I gave him a little extra. I'm just blending out the tops or the, I don't know what the lens, what the, the starting of my eyebrows and blending those out. <laughs> he walked up to the door and he had like a bag and then of like his stuff and then the bag of food and his phone in the hand with the bag because the bag was like resting here and he handed me the food. I took the food, put it down, gave him the money and said, thank you, have a good day. And then I left, I put the food up and then I realized that the, the pop wasn't there. I was like, oh crap. So I went on quickly on the website and I clicked contact and I said, brow gel. Hey, my delivery driver literally just left. Do you think he can turn around and bring me back the pop? Because it was literally like a minute ago. It was quickly on there and they replied very, very quickly. And they were like, did the driver have the pop with him? Well, I don't know. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't know what he, if, what he had in his car. Like, I don't know if he left it in the car when he came up you know, because they just quickly deliver. I don't know if it was in the car. I don't know. Also, he had a bag on this arm. I don't know what was in the bag. And I said, well, it wasn't out in the open. I don't know also if he didn't get it from the restaurant because they go pick it up at the restaurant and then deliver it. So I was like, I don't know if they forgot it or if he did, right? And they're like, okay, well, what would you like done before I contact the restaurant? Do you want a re-delivery or do you want a refund? And I was like, honestly, a re-delivery just for pot. It's fine, I'll just get a refund for the $3 or whatever. As I was playing this back, I jump around from things to things and I sometimes don't make sense. Basically the reason why I was like, nah, it's okay, I can just get a refund and I did want a delivery beforehand was because I was like, he literally just left one minute ago, could he just come back? But this whole conversation with the guy, it took like five to 10 minutes. So by that time, this guy's long gone. 10 minutes gone, that means 10 minutes to come back is now 20 minutes out of his way, the delivery driver. So that's why I was like, you know what? It's just a pop. It can be a re-delivery. Just in case people are like, your story isn't adding up. <laughs> Sorry I jump around so much. Jump around, jump, jump, jump around. Okay, I paused because I forgot mascara and I just lip scrubbed my lips too at the same time. Anyway, so I was like, yeah, I'll just get um, a refund. It's fine, no problem. And then I just had water. So I was like, this is a sign because I don't have pop. So <laughs> when I said this to the guy, I was like saying it to myself and my dog. <laughs> I was like, this is obviously a sign to not drink pop, like especially not when you're sick. And then he's like, okay, hey, I'm gonna contact the restaurant now. I'm like, okay, sounds good. So I start eating my food. And then I get a message and it was like, a re-delivery has been sent out for you. And I'm like, what? Why? I literally just said that a refund, I don't need, I was like, I don't need a re-delivery. It's fine, like it's just a pop, it's okay. And I ordered at like 7 p.m. So it got to me at like 8 p.m. So now there's gonna be a re-delivery. I don't know how long that's gonna be for just like a, a pop. So I'm like, okay, well, thank you so much. I was still very thankful because they were doing something. No, no delivery came. And I was up to like 1 a.m. last night. No delivery came. Um, I don't have a refund. So I'm actually not sure. Do I just take that pop as a loss or I don't know. I don't know if I, I is it petty to like ask again? Like, oh, by the way, there was no re-delivery. I don't want it to be like that. Like, I don't want to be a petty girl, but it is money that I paid for and didn't get. And the fact that I gave him extra, I think that's what's the kicker. Cause I gave him more money than what I tipped. And he was, there was a delivery fee that he keeps. It was a $5 delivery fee that they keep like the driver and then I tipped and then I gave a more. It wasn't like a crazy amount. I don't know. First world problems. I think that's what that's called. But I just thought that was funny. Like, what would you like? Oh no, I don't need a re-delivery. Just the refund's fine. Okay, a re-delivery has been sent out for you. <laughs> like, thanks. And then no re-delivery. So confused. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. I'm opening for the first time. It's in number 30. Looks like that. And it's called Rose. 
cute. Maybelline sent me a little care package and I'm so thankful and I cannot wait. Oh good, lots of product went on that. Product pay off. Ooh yes, that little just pinky glow. Ooh, I love that. Thank you so much, Maybelline. I love drugstore makeup. I love all types of makeup. See, I never know if I'm going to get the pop. Rest in peace to that pop. Whoever's drinking that pop or has that pop, I hope it was good because I don't have it. And now I'm like craving pop because I didn't, because I was like, I had like a taste of it in quotes. <laughs> Shade and light palette, like always, and I'm using subconscious, like always. I don't know how I haven't hit pan on this. I use it every single day. I like don't use another contour, even though I have some more. I like, I live for this one. And I'm not good at contour, so just kind of keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> Comment on anything else in my makeup, because I like actually try and think it's good. <laughs> but this, like I just, I put it on. People have tried to tell me how to do it. Like I've had like makeup artists send me personal videos on Snapchat, not even kidding. Not because it's bad, but because I ask. Like I'm like, I don't know how to do contour. Can somebody help me? And they're like, oh, I saw your video. Like on some, can somebody help me? Here's how to do it. And they're like this and it, like, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't get it. I just keep doing the same thing and I don't take their advice. That's so stupid of me, but anyway. Looks like that. I just do like a little bit of a line and then whatever, continue on with my merry way and then blend it out with the blush brush. <laughs> I gotta hurry because my cat is needing his lunch. You can probably hear him meowing. He's like always meowing. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna use Luna um, from the Aurora palette. And oh, for the giveaway that I just did, I contacted all the winners, they've all replied. I need to ship out their prizes this week. But what would you guys like, if anyone's still watching, because I feel like this video is like 800 days long. What would you guys like for a next giveaway? Something makeup y. What would you like? Let me know. And if it's really popular, then I'll do it and do another giveaway. I love doing giveaways. It's just sometimes I'm like, what do I do a giveaway on? So if you guys have any suggestions, that would be really nice looks like that. Now for my lip color, the last step, I'm going to do another one of these Maybelline ones. Which one? Which one? Oh, these smell like suntan lotion. So good. Yummy. I'm going to do this one. Probably everyone was like, do the pink, but I want to do it in a nude lip. This one is called Loyalist number five, and these are their Superstay matte inks. So let's try them all. Oh, it is like pinky. Very pretty color. I haven't been able, I haven't dunked back in. Kat Von D setting spray. And that is the look. It was so long, I had to talk about my whole life. I feel I love this lip color. It's just a little sticky. You see that? But I really like the color. I think it suits. Looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and I will be right back. And here is the completed look. I just straightened my hair and put in some extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quite long talk through get ready with me, but I know a lot of you request that. So I hope I talked about interesting things. Thank you all so much for watching and keep a smile on your face and know that the world is a good place. You just gotta open your mind to it and be that good person. Love you guys, bye.